What's up, people? Today, I'm going to be installing the latest Blackview dash cam to come out on the market. That is the uh, DR970X 2 channel. So we're going to take it out of the box here. I did an unboxing if you would like to see that, but you're going to see everything here in a second. We also have their latest battery that we're going to be putting in the back. But let's get started. Let's first install the camera so we can do some testing up against our dr 750 X2 channel plus. So this is what the camera looks like. When you open up your box right here, it's upside down. You can see a little QR code. You're also going to have your password and your um, your SSID number for Wi-Fi. It's going to give you your name. So when you're looking for which Wi-Fi to connect to, this also has seamless pairing. I'll go over that in a second. But it's going to give you your your password and um, your social security, your SN number, etc. The password is pretty simple. It's always something like small. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is take out the camera. We have to unwrap the camera. It's wrapped in plastic for shipping. And then we're gonna put the uh, rear view camera out of the way for now. We don't need that at the moment. You're gonna have your manual, your quick start guide. Okay, and that QR code. Here's the box inside. I'm gonna press in these little finger holes to pull the box out and now it's empty okay so that's our front cable we're going to be using the cigarette outlet for now and then here comes your you've got your uh, SD card you have your um, your trim tool uh, all your extra little wire guides etc this is going to be for your rear camera, the cable. And it's long enough, even if you have like a Suburban or a Wagoneer, trust me, this cable is long enough to reach the back and still have a lot of slack for type tucking in around your headliner. We'll put that out of the way for now too. And of course, this is your hard wiring kit for fuse tapping. Super simple. I also have a video on our channel showing you how to do that. So if you'd like to head back later on and check that out, if you're looking to hardwire it, I show you how to do it in a, a, a Jeep Wrangler in the Rubicon. Also how to do it in the um, Jeep SRT and the Trackhawk. But most Mopar fuse boxes are very, very similar, if not identical. I don't know offhand if they're all identical, but so far. And uh, very, very easy to do, okay? All right. First thing I'm gonna do, the first thing I always do with any dash cam is get it set up before I mount it. So take out your micro SD card. Okay, on the front you could press this button and you could slide that out. Now when you push it back in, it'll click and that's how you rotate it, okay? But it won't come out, but to take it out you have to press the button and slide it out. On the side here where all the cables go, there's a little cover. You know, pulls gently because you don't want to break it pop this little cover out just like that because it's connected very uh small connection you don't want to pull on this and this is where you put your sd card see that there we go sd card is in you can slide the cover back over because now the SD card is protected, but all the openings for all the other cameras are there. You'll see you have a power, that little circle one, that's for the power. Next to it, to the right, that is for your CM100 uh, module. That's for if you want to add a uh, uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, okay, make it LTE. And then this one down here, that's going to be for your rear camera, okay? All right, so we got that. We don't need anything else except you do want to take out your alcohol wipe if you're going to be mounting it on the windshield. Now, I'm going to be mounting this directly below the other camera so we can do side-by-side -side testing. Let's get the cable ready. Walk you through this step-by-step. -step. Okay. Uh, there's a little cover right here. Just want to slide that off. You could save it if you want. You really don't need it anymore. But that's just to protect uh, the lens and shipping. And then this plastic cover right here, 
I'm gonna peel this off. If you don't peel it off, your camera's gonna be shutting down because it's gonna be overheating. There are perforations on the camera to allow venting. Please take that off. Last, on the outside here, there's another plastic cover. I'm gonna peel that off too, okay? See, all right. All right, we have our SD card in. Where is our mount? All right, I say this with every dash cam installation. We're gonna set this camera up and get everything good to go before we mount it. And the reason why is when you live view in through this camera, when you start to live view in, you can actually look at your phone while you're doing it to mount it so you can get that perfect frame shot that you want with the dash cam. Because if you just willy-nilly peel this off and slap it on there, and then you look through the camera and notice that it's way off and you don't like the way it's mounted, pulling this off is going to be a real pain in the A. Okay, so please follow these steps. Do it this way. You won't have any problems. Now, before you want to put this on, you can see that little QR code. That's for registration. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the steps in the app. And I'm going to make a, a screen recording over here. You can follow along. All right, I'm going to open up my black view. Let's start a screen recording. Three, two, one, and it's recording. Open up the black view app. This is what it looks like. Okay. And we're going to plug this in. Make sure you have power. And start the car. And we're going to plug this in first. All right. And you listen, it's going to power up. You can see the, you can see the lights on the back here in a second. Initializing SD card. Please do not disconnect the power. You can hear all my other Blackview dash cams turning on. Okay. So it's initializing. Thank you for your safe driving. Starting normal recording. There we go. Right out of the box, if you don't connect it to the app and you just put the SD card in, mount it, and go, at the very least, it'll take you 30 seconds to actually start recording. You can mount this without the app, and then you can always take the SD card out if you want, if you want to really want to go like really difficult, old school. But now that we got the camera recording, now we have to connect the camera to the app. So let's start the recording. Okay, you guys can follow along over here. I'm going to open up my Blackview app. And it's going to say, connect to camera. We're going to connect to the camera's Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's see. Right here, I have three dash, three dash cams, all from Blackview. I have two that you can see. It says Rubicon and Rubicon 2. That's my front facing this way. And then my Rubicon 2, side to side, all four channels. And I have the wife's wagon here. Up in the top right-hand corner with a little plus sign, we're going to press that. And then it says seamless pairing supported models, Wi-Fi only models. So we have a seamless pairing one. So we're going to keep that one. We're going to connect next. Sorry, I'm getting notifications here. And there it is. See where it says 970X? We're going to connect to that. Super easy to do this. And now it's going to ask you to wave your hand right here in front of this. That's it. Now we're connected. We are going to leave the name the same. We don't want to change the name. We're going to click OK. Update firmware. First thing we want to do. Yes, we want to update the firmware. Click Yes. I do this in real time to show people how simple and easy it is to install one of these. That way, if you do it with editing, people are like, wait, wait, did I miss something? So if, you, if I show it in real time, you could see how simple it is to install this. As we're waiting for this over here, this firmware to update, 43%. Once the firmware updates, the camera's gonna reboot.
keep getting other notifications on my phone while I'm trying to do this screen recording. Okay, here we go. Click continue. And then we're going to click join again. This is going to reboot. May take a minute to connect because the firmware is updating. Now it's sending the firmware to the camera, and you can see on the back, you can see on the front the white light, but on the back, you see the lights. It's receiving the firmware. Please don't unplug it while you're doing this. You don't want to freeze it or brick it. I've never seen that happen, although they do recommend that you do not disconnect the power while you're in the middle of a firmware update. As you can see over here, again, we're almost like 40%. Halfway there. While we're doing that, Keep trying Wi-Fi. If that pops up on your screen, make sure you click keep trying Wi-Fi. Don't use cellular. All right, 88, 89, almost there. Come on, let's go. And there we go. Now it's gonna reboot. Click OK. Back to my list. Camera should reboot. You should hear it rebooting. Restart. Please do not disconnect the power. See? He even tells you, please do not disconnect the power. <laughs> Black view in the rear just said parking mode on. Upgrading. Please do not disconnect the power. Again, it's flashing because it's upgrading the firmware. rebooting once again. We should have the latest firmware installed now once it's up up and running. And as you can see over here, I still have my app open and it's showing me the uh, four cameras that I currently have running from Blackview. Black view for your safe driving. Starting normal recording. There we go. Now, you should see on the back, a red recording light and a blue connected light, okay? That blue light, now you're connected to the, your, it's, it tells right, right below, it's GPS, okay? So you got record, GPS, we are good to go. Now, to connect to this camera, to live view and change all your settings, we're gonna find it in our list. It's number four, it's at the bottom here, we're gonna click on that, we're gonna click join, There we go. Okay, now we're gonna go into live view. And as you can see over here, we are live viewing with the camera. Now, you know, I just realized something. I told you not to put this uh, mount on when you're pairing this. That's old school. Old school black views, you had to take it off because you had to scan the Q uh, QR code. You don't have to really do this with the seamless pairing. So, I could have left this on. I'm gonna have to power it down real quick just gonna unplug it we're gonna slide we're gonna slide our mount in like so it's a gold ring facing in there we go see that all right we are going to plug in the power like so let this power up again it should take a about 30 seconds and then we'll reconnect to it Still got the screen recording going on over here. 
All right. I could have saved this about a minute had I just left them out on. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to go into Connect Camera. Now, there are two different Connect the Cameras. There's Connect the Camera Cloud. If you're over uh, Wi-Fi, it's like, let's say your camera is connected to your home network, and then you can view your camera inside. Or if your camera is connected to the SIM card, like through a uh, hotspot, that was that's how you want to connect the cloud. But when you're directly connecting to your cameras, you want to connect the one that has a little Wi-Fi symbol. So connect the camera. Press the one that you want, click join, and it's going to pop up here in a second. There we go. Click live view. Now I'm going to show you, I'm not going to turn my camera sideways, which I normally would do to mount this, but okay. First thing you want to do is get your camera um, in live view mode. You want to look at your phone while you're doing this and kind of like get it like a spot where you want to mount it on the windshield. And then you want to rotate the barrel, this right here, okay? Press it up against the windshield. I think right there looks good. Now I'm mounting this directly below my other black view for testing. That looks good. So that's where I want to mount it. So what I recommend doing, I don't have... Do I have one in here? All right, I don't. So I need to go get it real quick. All right, dry erase marker works great. I'm gonna run inside the house. I'm gonna keep and get you a dry erase marker. What you wanna do is once you get this up on the windshield, you wanna take like a dry erase marker and just put a little line next to where the glass is, maybe a little corner where you're gonna mount it so you know exactly where it's going, okay? I mean, I could probably do this. You know what? We'll save some time. Let's just take the tape off. And this is a pain to get this tape off. Start it. I had a razor blade. Here we go. Whenever you're mounting uh, dash cams or taking them down, helps to have a razor blade handy. You can get them on Amazon in a pack. It also helps to start the uh, peel of 3M tape if you don't have fingernails. There we go. We got it started. Okay. Let me just one last time see where I want to mount it. It's going to go right there just like that looks good we're gonna peel the tape off and we're gonna put it up on the glass try to get it nice and straight Line looks good. Okay. <clears throat> Press it on there firmly. There we go. All right. That is the first step. And it's going. There you go. You can see we're filming. Everything is good to go. I like the way it's mounted. I'm going to actually rotate it down a little bit more. We want to get... No. Nah. Actually, that's probably the best view. Hmm, looks good. Okay. Step one is done installing the main dash cam. I'm going to do some uh, uh, some of the firmware. I'm going to back out of the camera. Okay, and it'll show you all your files there. If you're unfamiliar with how to download one of these files, it's really, really easy. You can do it two ways. You can click the little three little buttons on the right like so and click download but what we're going to do is we're going to open up the very top one right there 
you got quick play, which is low resolution, it's a quicker um, load, or the original file, we're gonna click original file, we're gonna click OK, and then you can hear everything going on, pause it. Top right hand corner, click that to download. Now it's downloading to the internal memory. Okay, and if you wanna see that, what you want to do is you want to back out, click the top left, click home, and then where it says downloaded videos, click downloaded videos, and at the top there, I've got two of them because I did it. Right hand corner, the three little buttons here, click that, click share, and then I went save video, and now the file is now complete. So if I close this and go into my foot, there it is, right there. Perfect. Okay. All right, back into this. We're gonna go back into the camera, click home, connect the camera, click on this, join. Super fast, super fast. I love the uh, the app, the, the GUI for this app is awesome. All right, let's go into top right. We're gonna click on, uh, let's see, we want, settings click on firmware settings uh, basic that'll give you the time we can do that with manual time we want sync with GPS time I'll do that in a second daylight savings time yes back out we want video image quality we're on the highest right now I want extreme we're gonna leave that there into recording. Now you got normal recording mode, parking mode, time lapse. I don't know. I don't want time lapse. I'm gonna put on. Uh, let's see. Do we want time lapse? I want motion and impact. There we go. Rear camera recording and parking mode is on. Uh, voice recording, yes. GPS location recording, yes. State and time display, yes. Speed. We're gonna change that to miles per hour. Lock event files, we don't have to do that right now. Front camera rotation. That's if you had your camera facing out the rear, it would be upside down. You'd have to click that button for the rotation. A rear camera orientation, we haven't gotten that far yet. So let's back out. Uh, recording. The boat's just there. Back out again. Let's go into Wi-Fi. I'm gonna connect this to Login credentials. Okay, where is it? Nope. We want cloud. I'm sorry. Cloud service hotspot settings. I'm going to connect this to my home network. So while my car is parked, it's connected to the house. If you don't want to purchase a SIM card or a plan, a monthly subscription, you can do it just like this. So here we go. Number one, uh, we need to find, there it is. That is my thing. I need to do my password, which I have to block out here. Okay, good to go. Click save. Now I, am, I should be connected. Back out. Save all Body settings. Click save again. We are good. Yep, and once the settings are saved, it's going to announce it. It's formatting your SD card. It'll tell you, don't disconnect the power gun. Every time you change your firmware settings, it's going to format your SD card. It's going to change it to the current settings that you've saved. Time. All right, so that's pretty much it. So the front camera is recording... Everything is good to go. I'm gonna stop this recording over here. We can go back out to the home setting. You can mess around with your, uh, you can check news, um, you know, our battery. Like for example, the battery I have that I'm using currently, I can click on the battery. Oh, that one's not connected. Sorry. All right. Let's just stop the recording. All right, front camera is 
connect it, good to go. See how fast and easy that was? Really, really easy. All right, that's the installation for the camera to get up and running for your front. I'm gonna have a part two for the rear camera and the full on test and review coming up here shortly. I'm gonna install that. I'm also gonna be doing a second video that will be linked for the battery. And we're gonna be installing the battery in the rear. The latest battery that they gave me, which is right here. We're gonna install this next. I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna be installing it in the rear cab. So, check out that video. I'll have it linked in the description of this one, this installation. I'm also gonna be showing you how to connect a SIM card using the connectivity module, the CM100. That's actually happening also. And then I will be doing testing with the, the footage, sharing file footage, showing you the pros and cons and give you an update in about one, two weeks on what I think about this camera and if it will beat the current DR750X2 channel LTE Plus that I absolutely love and I've been promoting forever. All my Blackview dash cams are amazing. I have a particular favorite. You might also, if you're wondering which one I recommend, it's currently the DR750X2 channel plus LTE for many reasons that I'm not gonna get into right now, but that's my favorite. This one may beat it, we'll let you know. But let me know what you think below. Check out the other videos that are all gonna be linked to this with the CM module installation and the battery. All right, that's all I got. Any questions and concerns, drop me a comment down below. Click the like button, click the little bell notification. If you like the content we put out, click the super thanks button. Also, don't forget to click subscribe. Last but not least, you guys and girls all be safe. That's all I got, I'm out.